but let's just bring these girls on so they can take a little bow. church and it's not raining and I say this because people don't believe me every time I go to church it rains Seanette so will tell you we've been to church oh it's just sitting right here we've been to church together and boy I am telling you it has flooded out I went to your church once over there. I had to swim out and afterwards it's sad it, it's so bad that the water truck drivers asked me not to go to church unless there's a drug going on went to yours one day you know, the Anglican church. It's amazing, the difference between Anglican church and black churches. I mean, you know, when I say black churches, I mean like Amy and stuff like that, right? Because Anglican churches, they do things very fast, very quick. You know, you're in at nine, you're out at 10. Okay, 10, 15. Um, go to Ratner Road or Amy church, you're in at nine, and you're out maybe two. And they never think about lunch until afterwards, you know, like you can't bring a sneak a snack in or something like that. I mean, and it's amazing how they do that kind of stuff, you know, because you go and like they take like the shortest verse and they make it long, you know, these Andy folks. You know, I went to church once and I was sitting up there and I was like, and he was saying, and I'm telling you folks, and I'm telling you, Jesus, sir, Jesus, sir. And he was like, what did you, Jesus, sir. Jesus, sir, and I'm telling you, he, he, Jesus, where, he where? <laughs> and you go to an Anglican church and they say it was so sad that Jesus wept. <laughs> You're like, he took 15 minutes to say it was two minutes? It's unbelievable. I, I, it's kind of embarrassing because I go to church during a song. You know, it's hot in there and all this sort of stuff, but I go during the summer because it's not raining. <laughs> and people want rain in the summer. Pastor O'Shea came and he saw me today, he said, huh, I should pull you off because you haven't been since August. <laughs> and he meant August the year before. <laughs> it's shameful. But I, I have this thing about church and the reason why <sighs> And it's kind of embarrassing, right? I go to church looking for men. <laughs> and they're not there. You know, every church I go to, it's full of women. I mean, I look out here now, it's mostly women here. It's ridiculous. How's a single 57-year-old woman going to find a husband? <laughs> okay, I'm not 57, I'm lying. I'm 72, but don't I look good? <laughs> I'm lying about that too. Just a minute, let me move. Because lightning's going to strike because I'm in Jesus' house and I'm telling lies. I mean, no, I, I, I do go looking for fellas. That's, that's the honest God truth. I'm not going to lie about that. And my friends, like, like they're like, Gina, you, you, you don't go to church for men. And I say, but that's the reason. You know, they say, no, no, the reason for church is the Lord. And I said, is he single? <laughs> and I said, don't be ridiculous. The Lord and his son, Jesus Christ. And I, I do not date men with children. <laughs> it's too much work. You know, as old as I'm getting, I don't even know if I need a fella now because I'm old, it's gonna be old. I'm gonna have to pay for his funeral. <laughs> I don't think I wanna do that. But I have to be honest. The last time I went to church, it wasn't your church, it was a different church. You know, it was before you came, right? And I met Miss Shawnette. She always gets me into a lot of trouble when we go to church. And we're going to church, and you know, Shawnette can sing. Just like Cyrena, who was up there singing. You know, that's her sister, right? But Cyrena sings better than Shawnette, don't tell her. But anyway, we go to this church. And I am telling you, we were sitting there, and I had been praying for a husband. I really had been, you know, like praying for a husband. And while we were sitting there singing, 
in walked this man. My mouth dropped. I knew God sent him for me. I have been praying for this. He looked just like how I like a man look. You know, five foot six. You know, just show it. Yeah, because you know, anything taller than that is just too tall. Okay, maybe he was five seven or five nine, something like that, right? And he was dark, like I like him. And he had dimples. And I was like, oh yes. Just, just the way I described him, Lord. I said, so should I stop singing? I want him to see I'm a Christian girl. And I was singing, oh Jesus, I have promised. That's not what they were singing, but that was the only song I knew. <laughs> And I started making plans. You know, like, my bedding dress is going to be light green. My honeymoon is going to be somewhere in Switzerland where it's cool and romantic. Although I'm too old for children, if we had them, they'd have pretty hair. And I had it all worked out. And when I turned around and looked, Ian walked his wife. And they're 2.5 children. And a dog. And I sucked my teeth and I said, Lord, I have to remember when I pray for a husband, be specific. Pray for one for me. Not somebody else's, but I didn't pray for him, but you know what I mean. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Gina Love.